Good morning, morning ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to this book channel and what is perhaps the last episode or the final episode for the year. Um, the last quarter of this year, we've looked primarily at shoes. Uh, we started with ready to wear shoes. Uh, we did a session on bespoke shoes, but since this is the bespoke channel, uh, the central focus of our programming is around bespoke craftsmanship or artisanship. And so we had a session in between our ready to wear session where we uh, tried on a pair of uh, a trial pair of shoes uh, to prepare us for the bespoke journey. And uh, that video is about seven to eight minutes long. Uh, we, I was sent a pair of shoes from the manufacturer, which was a standard pair of shoes in a size 11. And the idea was to use that pair of shoes to get a gauge of what my foot dimensions are and then modify the last, meaning sort of that the last is a piece of wood on which the shoe is made. The last was going to be modified based on my feedback and they were going to create a specific last, a bespoke last or a custom last for my foot. And then the next step, obviously, was to make a trial pair of shoes uh, in my own specific last. So they've used my own bespoke last to create a trial pair of shoes, not the final shoes, still a trial pair of shoes, which we have today. Uh, they were just delivered, and we're going to look at it and talk about uh, the trial pair of shoes. But before we go down there, we want to actually talk about the fit of a shoe. Um, we haven't really talked about the fit of a shoe. We've looked at different types of shoes, how to wear them, where to wear them, color combinations, and so on and so forth. But we haven't actually looked at the fit of a shoe, which is the most critical thing. Now, a lot of men, people, men, women, go through life wearing the wrong pair of shoes. Uh, they don't know any better. Uh, but there is nothing more important than the fit of a pair of shoes, especially if you have problem fit. Uh, then fit uh, problem feet, uh, then fit becomes even doubly more so important. So let's talk about the fit of a shoe first. We're going to use a ready-to-wear shoe to talk about how a pair of shoes should fit. Now here, what I have is a ready-made pair of Edward Green cap toe shoes. So these are standard Edward Green cap toe shoes, right, in about approximately my size. Um, ready-to-wear again, not bespoke now. Just like in a bespoke jacket, the most important element of fit in a pair of shoes is the fulcrum. Now, remember when we talked about bespoke clothing, how the waist of the coat, if you take a look, the waist of the coat is the fulcrum. This is the fulcrum. This is essentially the anchor the, or the midpoint of your body. And if you miss this, nothing else matters, right? You could have the most beautiful shoulders, what have you. If you miss the fulcrum of your coat, the balance is gone, and then the coat just doesn't look right. So the fulcrum or the center of the coat needs to be nailed. Similarly, in a bespoke shoe or in a regular shoe, the fulcrum must be nailed. And what is the fulcrum of a shoe? The fulcrum of the shoe is the instep. So basically, this point, the midpoint of the shoe, starting from the vamp right up till about here. This is basically what anchors your foot. This is where your foot pivots. So it needs to fit perfectly. This is the most important thing again, the instep and the arch, the midpoint of the shoe needs to fit properly. If it doesn't fit properly, it's gonna create all sorts of issues. Heel slip, you know, your foot falling forward and so on and so forth. So, that's the most important thing. You have to nail the midfoot, which is the instep, right? Instep and fam, and the arch. It needs to hug your foot. The instep and the arch needs to hug your foot. That's where it needs to be properly anchored. Otherwise, your foot is sliding all over the place. Now, the second point in fit is the heel. The heel needs to hold your heel perfectly. You need to hold your foot perfectly. Otherwise, again, your foot is sliding back and forth. So in terms of priority, the most important thing is the midfoot of the shoe, meaning the arch and the instep and the vamp. That's your anchor. That's the foundation. Second is the heel. The heel needs to hug your heel. The, the, the heel needs to hug your, your anchor. And then third is the forefoot. With the forefoot, you have a lot more latitude. You could go a bit wider if your toes are sensitive. You could go for a wider forefoot. Um, you could go for a bit of length if you prefer. Um, or, but 
whatever, whatever you want to do, but there's a lot more latitude here. Some people like it a bit fitted in front, some people like more room. But there you have a lot more room for compromise. Where you don't have com room for compromise is, again, the midfoot or the fulcrum, meaning the arch, the instep, and the vamp. It needs to be properly anchored and the heel. So that's it for the fit of a shoe, ready wear shoe. So now that we understand how a shoe should fit, we're gonna look at our trial pair. So come along. So here, we just got this back from the manufacturer. These are the trial shoes, the pair. Let's look at this, unwrap them. That's the right foot. And this is the left foot. And if you can see, these are trial shoes. They're not complete. This is just basically um, sort of uh, what you would call sort of scrap leather. So it's not really proper leather. These are leftovers, uh, scrap leather that I've been used to construct these shoes based on my custom last. So again, this is basically scrap leather. It's real leather, but it's scrap. And if you can see, the soles are unfinished. Again, this is just basically a piece of uh, 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 well, this is, um, it's not wood, it's actually, um, uh, what's it called, the material used to make the footbed, uh, it doesn't come to me now, but basically that's what it is, it's unfinished, it's raw, the heel, this is not the final heel, again, this is just basically something to put on there, an approximation, but every other thing about the shoe has been built according to my personal last, according to my bespoke last, so, those are the shoes again have a look the trial pair and now we're going to try them on take these off take out the cardboard inside Now, usually I would wear orthotics because of my flat feet, but in this case, I'm gonna try them without orthotics and see if they fit the way a proper shoe should fit because you sh I shouldn't need to wear orthotics, but because ready to wear shoes don't fit me properly, then I need to wear orthotics, uh, off, the, off the rack orthotics. So, the first foot gone in, second foot in, we lace them up properly. I use a double knot called a Parisian knot. You knot it up. And then here, There you go. We have the shoes on. Well, let's see. Wow. These are so comfortable. I mean, it's it's sort of like, you know, the proper analogy is, you know, when you're, when you're blind uh, and, and, and you, you, the first time you see after being blind all your life, uh, when you're colorblind and, or, or, or when you need glasses and you don't realize it and then you wear actual glasses, you know, the way you feel, my God, so I can really see. This is the way these shoes feel. Um, I've got a lifetime wearing shoes, ready to wear shoes, and, you know, sort of making them work. But the way these shoes fit, they are just fantastic. And that's obviously because they are bespoke. You know, they're made exactly for my feet. And they fit just the way the shoes are, shoes are supposed to fit. Now, if you come a bit closer, look here. Let me sit down here. Look at this, okay? Focus on the shoe. Let's look at this. Now, remember I talked about the midfoot being the ankle. You see how this hogs my foot? Look at the instep. It follows the line of my foot on this side and on this side. Follows, it hogs my foot perfectly, whereas, you know, still not feeling tight or feeling sort of uh, very, very close. It hogs my foot, look at the heel. The heel hogs my foot perfectly. There is no gap. It's not dancing around. 
it just feels perfect. And the reason is, because I have flat feet, I specified basically a very, very thick wall here. So on the counter, the instep, they've used sort of a reinforced material to hold my foot in. Otherwise, my foot pronates out inwards because I have flat feet. So my foot pronates out. So to stop it from pronating out, what they've done is basically build a reinforced wall here. This is like a dam, a reinforced wall, which keeps my foot in place. It keeps it straight rather than falling inward. So what that happen, what that does is that when I walk, I don't feel like I'm falling inwards and I feel my feet feel very, very stable. Again, walking around. No heel sleep. No heel sleep, whatever. Previously, with ready to wear shoes, because they don't fit me perfectly in the midfoot, the heel tends to come a bit loose. So, for new shoes, when I wear them, I have this funny feeling where the heel lifts. And that is a universal. Uh, feeling or feedback I've gotten from all ready to wear shoes, but because these are custom and they hog my arch and my instep properly, they are keeping my heel firmly planted into the uh, the heel of the shoe or the heel counter of the shoe. So that's it. These are just fantastic. I mean, I mean, it needs almost no adjustment. It needs. I mean, this could go into full production now. So that's about it. Um, so what I'm gonna do is that. I've taken pictures, I'm going to take pictures and send these back to the factory. They're going to make some slight modifications here and there, but nothing uh, to worry about. And again, if you come a bit closer, look at this. See how they, see how my toes go? See how the vamp goes? Which means I have ample room in the toe box, which is why this is flexing properly. I have ample room in the toe box, and this is where the hinge, that's the ball of my foot, it's hinging properly. And look at this. When I do this, my heel doesn't come loose. My heel sticks. When I do this, my heel sticks, and that is because of the support I have here. This is very nicely fitted here. So even when I bend my foot, which is your natural movement when you walk, I don't have my feet and my heels flipping up and down. So that's about it. Um, thank you for watching. And uh, we're going to send this back to Europe, back to the manufacturer. And then they're going to start working on the actual production shoes. And uh, obviously, those won't be ready for another few months. So when they are ready, uh, at some point during the first quarter of next year, we will do sort of like the final review and look at the actual bespoke shoes um, and what, well, bespoke or uh, made to measure or whatever you want to call it or semi bespoke uh, and see what they actually look like the shoes will be finished up they'll be polished uh, you know sort of they'll be look a lot more elegant than this right now these are just pretty much like you know a house with you know sort of bricks and and exposed uh exposed uh, beams and and, and, so, and columns and what have you um so when they come back they're going to be like a proper house cemented plastered painted and roll uh, and, and and what have you so again thank you for watching and uh wish you all a very merry christmas happy holiday and uh, it's been exciting um to going through this series with you and um look forward to continuing next year thank you goodbye